What's up everyone, back with another video, I'm Diego and today I'm going to be talking about how do we keep motivated throughout this whole COVID-19 situation. I've got five tips that I'm going to be sharing and hopefully they're going to be of some use to you. On this channel I share content related to university, tips and also highlighting my journey into getting into medicine as a graduate and I'm also hoping to share more content related to lifestyle and travel uh, as long as this whole COVID-19 situation sort of uh, passes and we can all get to our holidays. If you find this video to be of some use, please give it a like, comment and let me know your thoughts. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the video. Right, so like I said, I've got five tips and these five tips have been some of the things that have helped me throughout this time to not only keep myself motivated, but also keep on track, be consistent and just working towards my goals and establishing new ones also. So the first thing what, that I would say and I'd recommend is first of all, establish a list. And you want to establish a, th a list based on priority, so what's most important. And also, hopefully, this list will be uh, quite mixed. So establish a list of, of, top, of your top three things that you want to achieve uh, throughout this time or that you need to achieve. And hopefully, they will be mixed. So when I mean mixed, I mean that they... Uh, one will be academic, maybe. Another thing will probably be sporty or just any other skill that you're sort of developing. And the reason hopefully this should be what you could you should be doing or you could be doing is that it helps you to keep engaged with what you're working towards. It's also a good uh, it's also a good mix for your brain. So you're not just reading and reading and reading. I know for me, if I'm consistently just reading, consistently just working through past papers uh, for an exam, it can be quite quite difficult and it can be quite saturated. So obviously if you've got to do it, then you've got to do it. But with the, with the aim of this is to maybe add something else which is uh, quite different in terms of, of what you need to do. So lang learning a language, maybe doing YouTube, which is what I'm trying to do here. Uh, just anything, literally anything that, you, that you're interested in and that will provide you with some variety. So you establish a list of top three things and that's it. That's what you're working towards. So now you know what you're working towards. So tip number two. Tip number two is we've got to be living a healthy lifestyle. So this basically means and encapsulates, you know, uh, what time are you going to bed? Sleep at a decent time, wake up at a decent time. Uh, so you've got more of the day to, to, to basically do the things you need to do. And you've also got more of the night to do the things you need to do, like rest, uh, watch a movie or whatever it is that you do at night time. But it's important to do that. It's important to have a good balance because uh, sometimes when we live in lives which are quite... Uh, unstructured it can be quite easy for us to sort of go off the rails you know go to bed at 2 a.m 3 a.m wake up at 11 12 and what we find is that the things we need to do in the day we start to push them back and back and back and back and then it just makes it worse for us we start to feel more frustrated because we haven't achieved what we thought we were going to achieve or we'll start to just say well what's the point of starting today i'll start tomorrow so establish a, a healthy living schedule exercise regularly fit in everything that you know you need to fit in within a day and that's it that's tip number two tip number three so tip number three is a major thing and it's to be efficient so being efficient is very important in business very important as a student very important in every life in every aspect of your life uh, you're going to make you're going to be more productive you're going to make the most out of the time you've allocated and because you make the most out of the time you've allocated you're also going to be able to allocate more time to the things you you like to do more. So spending more time with your family, you know, whatever it is, spending more time with your friends, going to the gym, uh, going out to a restaurant, even though we can't do that right now. So hopefully in the future. But what I'm trying to say is you need to be productive. You need to be efficient with your time. So if you've said, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to allocate two hours, three hours to work through some anatomy, through some biochemistry, or through whatever it is that you're doing, then make sure to stick to that. Be as efficient as possible. So how do I do this? You know, for me, this has also been an area where I've occasionally struggled. Sometimes it, it depends. So it, like, for example, if I'm studying a subject which I find very boring, then I find that I just, I'm, I'm less efficient and I become uh, more unproductive. I procrastinate more. And you know, in hindsight, it's really, it's not, it's not good because this is obviously something that I don't enjoy. So ideally what I should be doing is I should be getting through it as, as, as fastly as I can, that I'm still getting the knowledge that I, that I need, but I'm also not spending too much time. And so that's why it's important to be productive. How do I uh, keep myself efficient? So 
because like I said I struggled with this for quite some time and I still find it challenging occasionally anyway um, for me my weakness was social media so I have my phone out or I'll have it next you know next to next to myself when I'm on the desk and my eyes start to sort of drift away and then I look down and then before I know it, I'm already open I'm already swiping up and down on social media and Instagram and there's nothing much for you to see not much has changed in about an hour but I'm still doing it anyway and so what I do is that I've downloaded an app called Forest and this app locks you out basically of, of, of using any other aspect of your phone and so um, what it does it sets a timer so you set your own timer it can be 60 minutes 45 minutes uh, 30 minutes or even more whatever whatever works for you and you can't use your phone you can't use your phone other than having that timer running and so the moment you try and access another uh, social media or whatever it just locks you out uh, sorry it kills the, the tree that you're sort of building up because the idea is that as you are as your time you're going through the time of the the allocated time you set apart then this tree then basically the tree is growing and the moment that you sort of stop or you come out, then the tree dies. Yeah, basically. Obviously, the tree is, is not a real tree, but it represents, you know, your ability, basically. For me, at least, it represents my ability to keep myself efficient and focused. And obviously, I want to do that as, as best as I can. And so that's one thing that's really helped me, uh, an app that's really helped me. And also, you know, just the list making. So I use an app called TickTick, which I actually took off um, or I learned from a from another YouTuber called Kenji Tomita, who's a medical student at KCL, and he sort of mentioned it in one of his videos, and I took it and I was I found it really interesting. And for me it's been working really good. So that combined with Forest has just made my my study my study uh, sessions much more effective and much more efficient. So that is tip number three. So tip number four. Well tip number four is rest. Rest is very important to keep ourselves motivated. It's very important to live a balanced lifestyle. And you also want to be good to yourself. You don't want to be, you know, setting up these targets, which maybe you've got to do them, but you want to structure yourself properly. You want to structure your life, your workflow properly, you know, and in a way where it allows you to, to make the most out of your hours throughout the day. But you're also resting. You're doing the things that you need to do. This will just keep you more happy, more positive, and it will allow you to maintain or to keep yourself more motivated, more consistently. You know, I've found that when I'm, that when I'm, I'm not resting that much, I start to get a bit more sort of like frustrated. I'm not that sort of happy about sitting down and studying. So when I'm well rested or I've done some of the things that I want to do, I watch a show or whatever, that then when I get back to study, uh, stop my study time, then it's just, it's easier. I find it easier and I work better. So that's my fourth tip, you know, rest. Uh, be sure to to be positive in your workflow um, and this will obviously just keep you much more motivated throughout this whole time so my final tip my final tip is be consistent and this is important uh, make this uh, part of your lifestyle adopt it be happy with it uh, be positive in, with your workflow with the, with the tasks you've set for yourself and i'll just repeat the more you repeat the more you do you're just going to be more effective more efficient throughout the whole period may it be two months or what, how long this is going to last but you'll just be you'll be better at what you're doing you're going to get better results and you know you're not going to see the fruit of your labor at first but eventually it will come and that's all for this video guys those are my five tips i hope you enjoyed it i hope they were of some use remember that these are just my own five tips these are the things that have helped me and so you know adapt as you see as you see basically fit if they if they work with your with your lifestyle with the way you work then that's fine if they don't that's fine also you know there's no need don't put extra pressure on yourself that there's a specific way that people do it you know obviously take the good take what you feel it will benefit you and then that's it so hopefully this has helped you if you like this video the content then please leave a thumbs up please comment and subscribe it helps with the visibility and i'd appreciate it very much so yes guys thank you very much bye bye it's diego here bye